Hey, what it do, y'all? It's your boy E2 Blue coming right back at you. Um, <laughs> looks like, you know, there's always something going on with the Dallas Cowboys. They're always moving, shaking, jucking, and jiving. And what did Jason Garrett say? Player acquisition is 365 days out of the year. And even though it's not the offseason anymore, and even though rosters are set, you're always trying to better your team. You're always trying to get somebody in there um, that can do something that can make your team better. So it looks like the Dallas Cowboys are working out quarterback Landry Jones, which has been a career backup for Ben Roethlisberger with the Steelers. Um, he was released this past offseason when um, – when the Steelers got Mason Rudolph in the draft, and um, and they got I think they got Josh Dobbs over there too. So um, Landry has been a free agent, and he's just been sitting around waiting. So it looks like they're trying to kick the tires on Landry to see if Landry Jones can be somebody that the Cowboys can potentially have on the roster as a backup for Dak Prescott. Um, not saying that they want Dak. Dak Prescott to fail, but because of the type of quarterback that Dak Prescott is, he's mobile, he's always moving around, um, they just need somebody, a veteran in there for backup depth, and hell, maybe somebody that can help Dak cerebrally, like, hey, this is what I see, this is what you should be doing, and this is what I said all along, Dak needs a guy that's been around the league, that, that knows um, more than Dak does to help him out to become a better quarterback as well, um, Not not just to provide... Um, as well as to provide um, backup just in case something happens to Dak. Now, um, I think Dak has uh, only one game that's 280 yards plus um, in the last 24 games, I think, something like that. But he he, he doesn't have many games of, of high value when it comes to passing yardage, but me personally, I'm not as big on how many passing yards a player has as long as did you did what you did in the game and won the game. Because at the end of the day, you can have 400 something yards passing, but if you lose, that doesn't make a bit of difference. You you just filled up the stat sheet. That's pretty much all you did. But um, also too with um them trying to figure out what to do about signing Bryce Butler since they hedged their bets on trying to bring Bryce Butler back. They're, they're still trying to figure out who to cut to make room for him because that's going to be a hard thing because these receivers, a lot of them did a lot of good work in the game, and you don't want to just get rid of um, talent for no reason for Bryce Butler. So, I mean, I don't know. Whatever they're thinking is, um, again, they the coaches. They they know what they're doing, I guess. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to bring that uh, tidbit to you. Um, Cowboys looking to um, work out quarterback Landry Jones. If they sign them, um, who are they going to cut? Because, I mean, they can always cut Mike White and put him on a practice squad and just take somebody else off the practice squad. I mean, they can do that too. But, again, I think having a, a veteran quarterback is what I said from the beginning. They should have had somebody in there to help Dak. But, um, yeah, let me know what y'all think about uh, <laughs> Landry Jones. Um, with that being said, it's your boy E2 Blue. Always keeping it real. Talk to y'all soon.